from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Monday afternoon. After a stormy Sunday evening, more severe weather activity is expected in KMA land the next two days. Severe thunderstorm warnings are issued as a strong line of storms moved swiftly through southeast Nebraska into southwest Iowa last night. Hail was reported in some parts of the region. Page County Emergency Management, for example, reported large hailstones damaging vehicles in Clorinda. And Dirk Peterson is a meteorologist to the Weather Service's Valley, Nebraska office. And Peterson tells KMA News conditions were ripe for severe weather Sunday evening. It was kind of a cluster of storms that over time got itself more and more organized. And the atmosphere was just right for it to really shoot out some uh, stronger winds compared to uh, most thunderstorms. And we were even able to feel some of those strong winds in the Omaha area, despite not having the best amount of rain nearby. It was farther south at that point. But either way, a pretty good windmaker that uh, moved through the area last night. Now, Peterson says another line of severe weather is expected to fire up again after 7 this evening. After a brief respite, more storm activity is expected at around midnight and continue through early Tuesday morning. After a muggy start to the day, more severe storms are expected at around mid-morning Tuesday, continuing into the early afternoon hours. Stick with KMA. We'll keep you posted as to the latest weather developments. Fremont County officials hope to train a group of residents to assist first responders during disasters. Fremont County Emergency Management Agency, along with the Fremont County Disaster Coalition, is offering Community Emergency Response Team, or CERT, training June 3rd through the 7th from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Fremont County Secondary Roads Building. Clayton Long is Fremont County's Emergency Management Coordinator and overseeing the training. Speaking on a recent edition of KMA's Morning Show, he says the free training is open to people of all ages and backgrounds not already part of a typical first responding agency. Residents in Audubon no longer need to boil their water. Officials of the Iowa Department of Natural Resources say a boil advisory that was issued Friday was lifted Sunday after repairs to a water main break were complete with the affected area disinfected and flushed. Officials say water samples have also tested negative for bacteria. Likewise, residents in a good portion of southern Clarinda no longer need to boil their water. City officials today said the advisory in effect for residents between Division Street and the south end of city limits, spanning from the west city limits to the east of the city limits, has been lifted. KMA on track weather partly Sunday this afternoon. 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms later on. Highs in the low 80s. Mostly cloudy tonight. 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 60s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have a great rest of your Monday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.